On the left, this is a healthy disc. On the right, this is what would be defined as a degenerative disc. Now, as we have stated in the previous slides, as we age, degenerative discs will occur. That is a natural aging process. That is not something to be alarmed about. That is a normal occurrence. Some of these, some, not all, may result in pain. What happens on a physiological or an anatomical level is that we start to lose um, signaling or the, the hydrophilic properties within the disc itself. The actual joint height will reduce and you may have occurrences of osteophytes, which is an increase in bony growth, or bone spurs as sometimes they're referred to. It is also possible within the disc itself that you may get small cracks or fissures within the annular or the outer, the outer surface. It is unlikely, or within this specific condition, it is not common that we will see the, the jelly-like or that internal jam donut uh, substance in the center pushing out or bulging out. That is where it'd be diagnosed as a bulging disc or a prolapsed disc. So again, we're just looking at the, the quality of the disc changing over time. Common presentation for degenerative disc disease. You can have pain in that particular spinal area. If again, if we're focusing on the lower back, that would be in the lumbar area. If we're focusing on the neck, then obviously the pain would be closer to the neck. You can have some pain referred into the legs or even into the thighs and buttocks. It's not, it's not common, it is not necessarily there for everybody, but it can happen. Changes in your sensory system, such as pins and needles, or reduced sensation to touch, again, can occur when neural tissue is involved. But again, this is not the, it is not the necessity for all of these conditions. It is just something that can occur almost as, a, as an addition. Other common findings within this group can be muscle spasms, nerve involvement, which we've already touched on. There can be changes to the spine, so we would refer to that as spinal deformity or, or an asymmetry within the spine. And patients often discuss feeling limited or stiff within their motions. Bending and twisting can be aggravatory, and pain is often worsened with prolonged standing for patients. Now, again, the occurrence can be through an aging-related process, or it can be from a direct trauma as well. 